Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about HubDoc. Okay, so I am going to express HubDoc process from very scratch. So this one is my company, okay, ABC store, and I want to create a new account for HubDoc. So there is option of HubDoc. Once you click here, you will get this kind of display, and here I have to agree the terms and all, and set up HubDoc. Now get start with HubDoc. I am a new or already have account, so I'll select a new. Okay, and from business type, I am going to select the first one. Now, HubDoc wants access to. Now, it will ask about access of my zero company. So, this one is my ABC store. I am simply grant this. Okay, HubDoc want to access ABC store. Fine. Now, we will manage your library organization, attachment, business transactions, contacts, and all. I have to simply click on allow access. So in this way we can integrate HubDoc with our Zero company. Now I have to enter client email. Okay. So if you have particular client and if you have proper email ID, so you can write it. Otherwise you can, if you do not have the client's email ID, then you can use your personal email ID also. So this one is my just dummy company. So I am just randomly enter any email ID. Okay. So this one is already used. So I am just changing the email ID. Okay. And create a new organization. Now a new organization will be created on HubDoc. Okay. So as you can see here. So there are so many options here. I am going to explain all the options one by one. So this one is the my invoice. Now, if you want to upload a document, you have to click on upload documents. Okay. This one is my ABC store. And below that, you can see different folders. You can also create new folders. Okay. This one is invoice processing tab. And in from this window, you can edit and set up document settings. Okay. Add new organization. So you can select or integrate these many options with HubDocs. Okay. Now, first of all, let me show you the purchase overview. As you can see, there are no such kind of invoices. Okay. And I'm going to upload a PDF file of bills. Okay. So you can see there are three bills. Okay. So let's upload a document. So here you will get two options. Upload document. Okay. If you have a single file. Okay. Then you can upload or you can select the first option. If you have one file and in that file there are so many or multi pages bills, then you have to select the second option. In my scenario, there is one file and three bills, so I have to select the second option here. Okay. And you can also read the extensions JPG, PNG, PDF, etc. Same way in multi page, there is PDFs only. So I am going with second option. Let's select this file. So processing has been completed. Okay. So you can see all three bills here. Okay, it's in process mode. Fine, I have to select accordingly. So as you can see in processing folder, there is nothing. In the review folder, there are three bills. And in failed folder, there is nothing. If uh, HubDog is not able to read invoice proper, it will go into the failed folder. Okay. And if it's in processing, then it will go into the processing folder. And if it is ready, then it will go into the review folder. Now from the review folder, once you publish the bill, it will come in RKO folder. Okay. So let's review first bill. So supplier is Jenai store. Right? Okay. 
जस्ट अ मिनट लंबी रिफ्रेश ओके नाउ जस्ट आई एम सिलेक्टिंग फर्स्ट बिल एंड एज यू कैन सी दिस वन इज माय इमेज ऑफ बिल फाइन सो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द फील्स हैज बीन परफेक्टली रीड बाय हम डॉक एज यू कैन सी नेम इन वॉइस नंबर डेट ड्यू डेट टोटल अमाउंट एंड ऑल द थिंग्स ओके नाउ इन डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट इन वॉइस हियर बिकॉज दिस वन इज इन वॉइस ओके एंड देर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शन हियर लाइक क्रेडिट मेमो परचेज ऑर्डर एंड ऑल थिंग्स सो यू कैन सिलेक्ट एज पर योर डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप एंड सप्लायर इज हियर जेन आई स्टोर फाइन देन इन वॉइस रेफरेंस इज हियर डेट इज हियर ड्यू डेट इज हियर एंड टोटल अमाउंट total amount is 120 i have to select tax rate so i can select the 20% okay so you can see the proper bifurcation 100 plus 20 equal to 120 fine so you can select as per your requirement okay now i have to configure zero so there are some options like publish as purchase find and status in draft awaiting approval or awaiting payment find so in zero you can see there are some options if you want to put the invoice in draft in awaiting approval or in awaiting payment so you can select accordingly here so i'm selecting awaiting payment option now i have to create a new supplier here because it has not been created in zero so i'm going to simply enter the name genai store and you have to simply click on add genai store as new supplier and create now line item is single or multiple in this bill there is single line item there is no multiple line item like uh, one item is 20% vat charge one item is 5% vat charge category might be different so in this kind of scenario you have to select multiple option okay so in this bill i am just selecting single option now i have to select the accounting code so as you can see थ्री वन जीरो इज परचेज नाउ इन कस्टमर जस्ट लिव ब्लैंक एंड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन राइट एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो एवरीथिंग सीम्स फाइन ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश इट सो एज यू कैन सी इट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली पब्लिश सो वन साइ रिफ्रेश ऑन जेरो पेज you can see this bill here in awaiting payment the nice store invoice reference date attachment everything is here now let's open this one okay so here it is mentioned that go to hubdoc so you can identify that this bill is published from hubdoc only okay and attachment is also here find and from bill option you can edit void copy you can do all the stuff from here now right? now let's come into the hub doc and in our queue you can see that jni stores bill is here because it has been successfully published okay as i told now let's talk about the second bill so i simply select invoice everything seems proper but this time vat is 5 percentage to in tax rate i have to select 5 percentage vat on expenses okay find so now proper bifurcation is here now uh, this time i am going to change status from awaiting payment to draft okay mm -hmm. just a minute let me refresh this page again in the review 
this one is our bill okay so every information seems perfect here okay and i'm just changing status to draft and publish here so publish okay so build has been successfully published here now let me refresh on zero so you can see in graph there is one below 15.75 pound so this one is in draft so i have to approve from here okay and same way if you want to check bill thoroughly so you can also approve from here okay this one is my bill and from this approve option i can approve this draft bill fine now let's talk about the third bill so this one is also 20 percent so i'm just going to change the tax rate Uh, changing the status from draft to it awaiting payment and publish this one okay so all three bills has been successfully published to our zero fine so you can see all the three bills here from jni store in RKO, you can see all the three bills. Fine. Now, click on Show Folder. So, you can see the folder of Genai Store here. So, in Genai Store folder, you will get only bills of Genai Stores. Okay. So, it will create bifurcation supplier-wise. Now, you can also download all the files. You can delete folder, rename folder. You can export all the data to CSV. Fine. So, let's export to CSV file. I have to select the period here. So you can export CSV as per your required period. Okay, so the CSV has been downloaded. Now let's download all files also. So one zip file has been downloaded. Now let's open both files one by one. So this one is CSV file. Okay. All the details are in a systematic order. And uh, this one is my zip file. And in zip file, you can see the folder of Genai store here and all the bills. Fine. So, in this way, we can create a new account on HubDoc. We can publish bills from HubDoc to zero. Okay. So, this is for today. Thanks for watching. Kindly like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.